My PC loads up pretty fast now after the first initial match. Just need to get that out of the way. And here we go. So we do have ATN Cloud going to be spawning as the Blue Terran here on GSL Crevasse by the looks of things. It could be MLG Crevasse, but I'm not 100% sure. And uh, we do have Plea going to be spawning as the Teal Terran down in this bottom position. Neeb has posted the brackets in the stream chat. If you want to check those out, please do. Fantastic tool indeed. Check out Playhem in general. They do some awesome bracket hosting. And if you're hosting a little tournament by yourself, you know, why not use them? They uh, certainly provide some great, great brackets. <coughs> so, Plea telling, uh, asking um, <laughs> Cloud that he had a hand injury. Uh, maybe he thinks... Ah, no, no, he did indeed break his hand. So, you know, him and... Muslim all breaking their hands as uh, and taking a few months out which sucks indeed so oh well I broke my arm because some guy broke it with a steel pipe what on earth oh my god that's crazy so Plea here looking to position his supply depots in interesting places this is I, I like this positioning I mean I would have liked it here as well but obviously he's compromising slight economy for slight positioning here ultimately that's going to be able to spot anything that does come around this backside here maybe say a drop or a banshee things like that and uh, meanwhile Plea going to be scouting in the wrong direction here at this point and uh, Cloud just going to be walling off here very very common tactic in this at this point but it looks like Cloud's going to be notoriously going for the same build that he went last time well same build as I mean same opener as last time going to be going for that command center right away there we go and uh, going to be getting himself in a pretty good economical position from the very get go and you can do this on Crevasse it's not a map where you can't just go for this crazy crazy econ style mainly because it's in the back obviously this uh, base does provide like half you've only got a, the lone rich Vespian geyser here so it does return a little bit of more than a normal Vespian geyser but not the same as a double Vespian geyser uh, per trip even and uh, only six mineral patches here as opposed to eight so it's sort of half an expansion give or take and if you haven't seen it in things like the GSL I'm just informing you you know most of the people have done here but if you haven't then there you go Saving that SCV just barely there, and it looks like Plea's going to be in hot pursuit of that SCV, but one is coming out to repair. No, he's just going to go back past him. Will he get this SCV? There we go. There is the repair on that SCV, so nicely played there. Doesn't want to lose any SCVs in these opening stages. <coughs> and uh, meanwhile, in the base of Plea, we do have a tech lab going down, and ooh, Reaper's coming out here. And this is exploitable indeed on this map. This cliff here, so great to just hop up here and then hop up there in order to be able to, you know, attack this base and then hop between the main and the natural. Um, but you know, I, I I personally like the economics, uh, the economic style better. And actually, oh, going to be cancelling that barracks. Very very clever there in order to be able to deny the vision of that. So nice play there. It looks like Plea's going to be getting a little bit aggr aggr aggressive from the get-go um, with this hidden barracks. Um, so that could indeed do a significant amount of damage if Cloud is not ready for it. You've got to remember that this indeed can be walled off, but there are these destructible rocks here which can be taken down very, very fast by things like Marauders. So um, we'll have to see if that does come into play. Meanwhile, Cloud going to be going through a refinery. I wouldn't be surprised if we did see Blue Flame Hellions once again. Factory on the way there. And a Ghost Academy. What in the... Where is that Ghost Academy? You, there it is. Ghost Academy. A third barracks actually going down as well. So Plea looking to put on a lot of pressure by the looks of things early on. Maybe going to be going for some crazy ghost... Uh, like snipes on marines and things like that in order to be able to whittle down their numbers as quickly as possible so that the marines go in there, finish the rest off. Um, we see the TLO do that quite often since he is now obviously Terran. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, it, it, you know, we will have to see what happens here. Um, I, I wouldn't mind a new crush. I don't know what everybody else is partial to, but a new crush sounds pretty dandy to me. In fact, I actually did cast a game today where I actually I predicted a defensive nuke. Uh, call me amazing. I uh, pff, I don't know. I don't know. That was pretty impressive. I I impressed myself. So. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. So, <laughs> looks like a Starpark going to be going down here. Siege Tech on the way for Cloud. So, he's going to be playing a pretty standard TVT at this point. Uh, with that Starpark on the way, you know, he can start producing those medevacs pretty quickly. Three ghosts on the way. What is going on? What is Plea doing? <laughs> this is crazy. 
Um, I'd love to see a ghost drop. That'd be cool. Like, but he doesn't have the star port or the factory out, so that'd be a little bit ambitious. Maybe we'll see Cloak on the way. Sneak in here. Do a lot of harass to these lines. You can do so much damage to mineral lines with ghost harass. It's untrue. And uh, my friends try it on me once or twice, but fail because they're rubbish. Ha <laughs> Dig it, Jim. But, yeah, it's okay. So, <laughs> this base nicely saturated here at this point. Just coming to the income tab, but the cloud is absolutely rocketing ahead at this point. Uh, and now it is really up to play with this interesting opener uh, to see whether or not he's actually going to be able to do something. I can't help but feel that Plea is going to be going for an all-in at this point with this composition. Um, he hasn't even he hasn't started in the command center yet. No command center going down just yet. And uh, Blue Flame on the way as well. Wow, Cloud is going to be going for a little bit of harassment himself. Medivac maybe going to be popping out anytime soon. Going to be getting that alert on Banshee uh, Viking even initially in order to be able to defend himself against any kind of banshee harass that did come along you see the muslim doing that a lot but five ghosts and a marauder gonna be pushing out across the map does anybody know about a five ghost marauder push i don't he may be hiding them from this lone scv very good player there doesn't want him this to be seen more marauders on the way oh okay so the Ghosts are going to be able to deal with the Marines extremely well at this point, uh, and also they are only psionic, so they won't take extra damage, um, well, biological psionic, but they won't take extra damage from things like Blue Flame Hellions, and the Marauders could actually do a significant amount of damage to the tanks if given the opportunity. He actually cancelled Siege Tech. That could be huge at this point. He actually cancelled Siege Tech to get the Blue Flame Hellions, so he is going for that drop, but at the same time, he doesn't know the impending danger approaching here. Marauder's going to be stimming up here. Going to be taking out that bunker very fast, once that does die, the Marines are going to be absolutely forfeit, melting to those ghosts. Those ghosts are going to be great against the Hellions at this point, as the Marauders are just doing so much damage, sniping the SCV, creating the command center, sniping everything. Oh my god, the Marauders are trying to clean up what is left here. But, oh wow, what an interesting push. The ghosts doing so much damage to the Hellions. This is... This is fantastic. <laughs> so, going to be killing so many FCVs. Cloud could go out in this round right now. He needs to bring the Vikings back. The oh my god. All of the... <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> These ghosts are doing so much damage. This is fantastic. It's coming to the income tab. Look at this plea rocketing ahead. The ghosts have just done so much damage at this point. The Marauders were just the perfect answer to that bunker and that siege tank. And now, GG, la <laughs> GG ladies and gentlemen, as Cloud, I believe, has been eliminated by a ghost and Marauder push.